there, it's Stephanie, and I wanted to go through the steps to create an embossed text or embossed graphic feel within PowerPoint for your e-learning courses. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Now, that, albeit this is a busy, colorful example, but that's the point, just so you can really see that uh, the effect of the embossing over different backgrounds and different colors. So here you can see that the numbers in the December 11th are, are on top of a textured background, which is on top of a brown background. Here we have um, different font styles along with graphics, a rectangle box and a line, all on top of a, a gradient background. Here we have a foreground of a light gradient blue, a, an embossed uh, color of a darker blue and sitting on top of a brown, a different font style, a thin font style, and a thicker font style. So you can do all sorts of different things with this and you can see that it might be useful within your e-learning courses for your section breaks or um, chapter or lesson breaks just to add a little bit more production value into the work that you're doing. So let's go over to this slide here and show you how I did this. Now it's drab in comparison but uh, you can do anything you want with colors and and what you're working with but to show you the technique I've just grabbed a gray box, a light gray box and um, and then I wrote some text in, used my text tool, uh, typed these letters in and made them a darker gray. Now I just chose these colors because they do separate from each other. We will eventually make these letters in inside transparent, so they do have to have a different color than what the foreground is, so that the transparency will pop through cleanly. This is the result of the effect over here. So let's just uh, grab both of those objects copy them, choose Paste Special to bring them back in as a PNG, and then when they come back in as a PNG, um, we just need to make those letters now transparent. So I just double click on the object, go up to Recolor, Set Transparent Color, and then click in the gray area, the dark gray area. And there I have my transparency, but it doesn't look like this. It doesn't look like it's embossed. And all you need to do to create that effect is just go up into um, your Format menu. So I'll just right click Format Picture, and then choose uh, your shadow and a preset of any of the outer presets will work just fine. So if you click this one, you can see it creates the, the embossed feel. Now, uh, for what uh, the example I'm doing here, I have a bit more of a dramatic uh, embossed effect. Uh, this looks a little flat, although it's going to be useful for certain uh, situations. Now, to create the dramatic effect, let's just play around with these values. So transparency 70, blur, increase it up to 10. I also changed the angle to 45 and increased the distance to 10 as well, which created the, that dramatic effect. So sitting on top of white is a bit boring. It, you can see the effect is working, but, but white doesn't really show off the embossing very well. So let's copy that and go over to this slide, which has a number of colorful items. Paste it in, and you can see immediately that it's that it's cut that, that embossed feel is coming through. You're sitting on top of a rainbow uh, rectangle, and you have that kind of effect or you can be on top of a texture or on top of a, a photograph like Gumby and Pokey here. Let me just kind of get them in there. You can see their eyes peeking through or even a busy graphic like that one. So um, like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to, you're not limited to having this gray box as kind of the cover. It can be anything you want it to be. So if I slide over to this, um, this one here, you can see that the foreground was a rectangle filled with a, a blue texture or a texture colored to blue. And the background uses the same texture, just a different color. So then when I lay it on top, I have a texture on texture embossed feel. Here, I have the same kind of idea where I've got a gradient rainbow effect, uh, colors going from, from uh, different uh, directions, both foreground and background. When I lay it on top of each other, you can see I get this kind of effect, which is also very cool. So if we go back over to that first slide, you can now see how I did this. I, I chose this shape filled it with white, and then uh, put the numbers 1-1 one, one on top, grabbed both, made them transparent, added the shadow, and then I laid them on top of this little textured box, and that created the effect that you saw here. And that's sitting on top of uh, just a brown rectangle. And here, same idea as a white, uh, white um, box tilted with a shadow to make it look like a little piece of paper and then I had typed in some text on top and use that same effect so as I move it around you can see that it's changing color underneath because it's transparent and that's how you're creating that uh, that's how you create that embossed feel and the same for for each of these other items that are here you can see that there's a piece of blue sitting underneath which is creating that effect right there so hope you enjoy thanks